welcome to Gosford Railworks, my name is James and today I'll be doing some more work on my large loud bosom port. Uh, as you can see I've fitted the, oops, had some in shot, uh, I have fitted the uh, fiddle yard baseboard which is all the way back here and I've got the general plan of the uh, layout spread out just so I know roughly how it all goes together. I'm quite fit as I've remembered, but never mind, I'll squeeze it in somehow. And I've also got the last two bits of wood which I need to trim. Uh, currently, I'll just move this one. Just make a mess here. There we go. So, the last bit I need to do is, uh, is just trim them down just to follow the contours of the track. Uh, but otherwise they're roughly in the place they're meant to be. Uh, first things first, I probably need to cut this down and well, stick this. Uh, probably I'll stick the rough guide of the track on first and then cut it down. I have also got some... What is it? some cork sheeting just to cover it all over. I'm still waiting for some to come in the post. That'll be uh, sometime next week, but that'll give me plenty of time to cut these all down. Uh, that's be it, really. Then I'll get around to actually laying the track. Uh, I've got one spare point motor just to help me make some adjustments for the points. And I've got all the track pretty much for the first loop, which would be the inside loop. And um, yeah, I'll be getting on with that. So first things first, cutting this down with a caping saw, which I've hidden over there underneath some wood. So I'll bring you back after I've cut this lot out. Well, as you can see, I've now stuck the sheet on, uh, the plan on here. And I've also drawn rough guides of where to chop out the, well, cut out the excess uh, wood. And I've also got all my caulking, so I'm going to get uh, started on cutting with my, where is it, here we go, with my caping saw. So I'll just cut along that right there, and around there, and I've also got my other bit, um, could we say, Here's my other one. This has a lot more excess to take off. But uh, yeah, getting there. Yeah. And that's all the straight track, well, the flexi track. Did I get the one? Oh, I did get the right one, I just stuck in the same box. Um, <laughs> slightly worried then. Yeah, well, I'll see you after I've cut that all out. Well then, as you can see, I've finished uh, well, cutting out all these bits. So that one going all the way over there, and it's also attached. And the cork has been, uh, well, more or less finished laying down. I'm just waiting for the last bit to dry properly. Ooh, make sure it's in one shot. Uh, I've got that bit all drilled, well, screwed in as well. There's a few bits at the back which I might be able to get in if I zoom in. Yeah, little bits like that there uh, and there, but those, those three won't matter because that's the field yard and one over here doesn't really matter because that will be covered up so nothing to worry about now I just need to wait for everything to dry and also two more pieces of track to arrive and then I can do the track laying for the first loop so I'll bring you back when that's all ready so see you a bit Right, and now we've got everything all attached. That well, all the baseboard stuff attached, which is the rest of the 
raised sections. I've got the uh, cork matting all uh, mostly fixed down. And I've got a bit of UHC glue, just in case I have find any uh, bits that are still trying to come off, just to hold them on. And I have printed off uh, some extra copies of the raised sets and track, just so that I know where it's all going to be living. So the next bit is actually laying down the track really. Uh, I plan to sort out all the points first because they're always the more complicated bits. Uh, get them in the right spots, more or less attached using probably be using this double sided tape just to hold them in place while I sort out the uh, track pins and also allows me a little bit of readjustment. Uh, I will be drilling holes for the uh, point motors so they can come through and also for the wiring. Uh, once I've got all the points in the right place I'll be working on the actual flexi track sections. And they shouldn't really be too hard because it's just basically long strips of track. Uh, I have got some spare track from previous builds. I'll be using that up and that's pretty much it really. Uh, after it's all sorted out, I actually I still won't be able to run anything because there won't be any power. But um, <laughs> it'll at least be a one single continuous circuit around the track, and I'll be able to push at least put some rolling stock around to um, pretend that there's a train in front of it. Uh, trying to think of what else I'm doing. Uh, first thing I'll probably be doing is sorting out the um, well, first of all the dropper wires for the points and also for the track. Uh, I'll be getting my soldering iron out for that, and I'll also be sorting out the um, rail joiners. That's no, I've got something. I have, we'll have to stand up now, so I'm not completely in shot. I'll be using these uh, rail joiners just to. Well, first we'll connect them all together and I'll be using the insulated rail joiners for the frogs here. Uh, most people would, well, most people in the hobby should know that, well, would know that, but just in case anybody new to the hobby is watching, this is just so you don't sort of circuit the entire layout and probably blow up something which you don't really want to blow up. Anyway, I want to get this all sorted out. And the, right, I'll just show you what I'm doing with this single point here. Uh, first of all, uh, we'll have to apologise for the lighting because mainly I can't get the lighting up here at the moment. But what I'm doing is laying the point onto the uh, plan, sliding it that way so I actually know where the point will be. And well, and then I'll be carefully putting underneath it some double sided tape so even with that plan I know that this track will live here. I'll still need the plan afterwards just so I've got the alignment right. Uh, what I might also do if I had a pen so I'll quickly grab a pen as you can see quickly grabbing a pen and probably doing a rough outline Oh, where this lives. So let's move that. Ooh. Rough outline. Where this point? Ooh. Point is, and I can use this to work out where I want to put my point motors, and also the drop wire for the frog uh, thing, whatever it's called. So that's there. I'm probably going to have the point motor on. Let me have a quick look at the layout. Eh, it doesn't really matter for this one, so I put the. Uh, what's the motion of it? That shouldn't be too bad. Might be a little bit more space down the bottom. Alright, that's where I'll be making a little gap for the 
uh, flow of the point motor and for the dropper wire it lands up right under here so I need another hole here so when I put the attach the wire onto the uh, point I can thread it through and then that can be powered from underneath so that's pretty much that one done oh, there's my drill um, <laughs> Right, here we are. Got I uh, put two holes in here, then joined them up together using this bigger drill bit. I don't know what size it is, but a fairly decent size one will do. And just for the wire, I've used the smaller drill bit just so I can thread that through. I may actually need to use a bigger uh, drill bit, but it will do for now. And yeah, I'll just use this little cheap uh, hand drill because it allows me a bit more control over what I'm doing compared to let's say a uh, motorised one so I'll be doing that to all the points right, all the ones I've got and I'll bring you back when I'm well passing them all down so here we go well, as you can see I've finished the loop just need to hammer in a little bit more and also testing these corners since they're the inner track or the inner loop just making sure it's not too tight for the rolling stock and since our birdcage set is the, um, is my coaters which Dane really likes to, all that tight to cu uh, curve I figured I'd use these and this side seems good. Quick check on the other side. Checking it here side now. It would help if I didn't nearly derail everything. Uh, so these points are the right way as well. Right, this side's a little tight, but only in one direction. Also, so if I'm sounding a bit croaky at the moment. Actually, yeah, it's a little stiff here, and it's deep out over there. Um, <laughs> oh, so I did sort this out. Oh, that's why I left that point open. Hmm. But yes, I'm sounding a little croaky at the moment because I'm trying to get over a uh, sort of throat. Yeah, it's a little stiff here. But going uh, anti clockwise, it's not really that much of a problem. And on the outer loop, it'll be no problem whatsoever. So, yeah, just need to hammer in some nails and then it's all done. Right, here we are. The loop is finally complete. And I'm going to test it using my M7. I was thinking about making it pull something, but we all know that it can't pull anything. So here we are with using a 9 volt battery of power because I haven't got any wiring underneath yet. So, yeah, I yeah, will have issues around points because, again, Powered. Maybe I should have waited till I finish pat finish the wiring. Alright. <laughs> and the rest of it is Yeah, man, I know you want it. There we go. Not gonna pull anything now. Oh, I'm going past the point. Alright. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna pull that lot. I think that's a successful test. First train round, the new layout. And yeah, I did try to get better lighting up here, but um, yeah, I put it in a silly spot. 
so um so we really put it up there but oh well do that for next time but uh let's have a look change view so you've got a better look at the layout so give me a sec here we are so there'll be a double loop round and then some little bits around here Bit of the yard at the back and then to do the scenery but um yeah i'll be doing wiring well i have got an idea for wiring but i'll explain when i get the um wiring sorted out i will be attaching the um, dropper wires after this video but i can't stand soldering so i don't want to really do it on camera <laughs> anyway this one's saying some gospel works and i hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you again next time. Bye bye now. Hopefully my cough's gone by then. Oh well. See ya.